Alrighty. Let's go and play this first. So we got a front. Got a couple of views here. And then a side. And then a three-quarter. My main impression watching this is that it's a bit... It's almost like it's too fluid. I think it would be good to have a little bit of a, a rhythm in there. And there's one from a technical point of view. On the side of you, you can see a little bit how on that up it has a little bit of sudden stop here and then it goes up if you watch this here that's my uh technical sound and that would actually that's the funny thing that would keep that a bit more fluid without that sudden stop there so it's how your arm here goes up and you can see how it suddenly goes up and then ends here and then we're kind of locked in this area to some degree goes up here and then we stay a bit and then it goes down i think i would keep that a bit more easy in and back but generally it feels like you want to go up it's almost like you want to hold here a bit longer if you can it's almost like this section with this still going up a bit almost slows down a little bit and then it's just also you want to feel like a like you want to just a moment of all right i'm ready for the next one and this big powerful vroom. and even here vroom. and then have that not hold but just slow it down a bit and then it goes up like it's this moment of vroom, exertion okay up quickly let's get ready vroom. instead of the constant up and down and up and down that's kind of the feeling that i have same thing with this it gets into a bit of this undulating and then, and then, and then, like that, where you want a moment of. Because it feels like you're leading with the head. So it will be a thing of. Where it's like really the, the head goes up in, in a stronger move. And then you can have a little bit more of a rotation this way. It has a little bit of a curve with that in the head as well. And then I would offset these guys a bit. It feels like they're going down at the same time. So you have to look at. You have to kind of look at what is happening here. I feel like this is already going up, including the chest. That's a bigger thing. But to me, what I, I would tune in the, the chest with the wing move. So it's, it's ready to go. It's the dragon. And then you have that powerful flap down. And on this, that's what also what brings up the chest. So you have a moment of this is not going up just yet. You can lead with the head. And then maybe start a rotation in the chest, but it isn't going up just yet. Because your up move is going to happen around here to me. It feels like we are still... We're going up with the wings. So there's there's no more up, up movement possible because of the wing flap here, right? So once we get past to this, the dragon starts to fall, 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 fall till around here-ish. So your move up is too soon. So I would delay that, but then really separate the chest from the hips. So, you know, we're we're outside of the bird realm. Obviously, we look at bird for reference, but now that you know we have kind of what's going on with the back to front, we can go a bit more outside the reference realm. But to me, it's always like I want to separate this and this, where it's really the section of this shooting up is really the chest going up here with this a bit lower. And then that's going to drag the legs first, the front legs. Then as you have the separation and overlap uh, and the offset between the chest and the hips, when the hips go up, that's what's going to drag the uh, the legs, the back legs. So to me, they're a bit too in sync. You're going up too soon. This feels more like the dragon deciding what it wants to do and the wings happen to just flap versus kind of the, the physics aspect of Falling, 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 falling. <laughs> now I'm going back up. And then on the front, you, as you do this, then you can start offsetting things. Where like on this frame, this would be a bit lower, and then here this got a bit higher. So it's not an overall. Only this side is two frames late. You kind of switch it up where maybe, you know, at this point maybe they could be together slightly off, and then up here one is a bit stronger than the other. And then at that point, this one recovered and is a bit higher. Stuff like that. You have a bit of an, an offset between where I can switching between left and right where the uh, asymmetry is. And then the tail is a bit, I would loosen up the tip just a bit. It feels like it's very stiff. 
as it moves left and right where you want to keep that fairly strong but then towards here it gets a bit softer and then you have a bit more bit more bendy options i think it's, we can loosen this, that section up a little bit especially in the left and right this just feels a bit we're doing this with a fairly stiff tail there Alrighty, definitely looking better um but i think the first thing i would change is the up and down when that happens because of what the wings are doing it's the wings that are bringing this up and you want around here ish to me is when the when the up move happens so some around here which then it's a it's a fine line because then you're going to leave with the head like usually like the, the vanilla would be not leading with the head so you have a, a stronger um chest buckle well then the head is a bit lower and then the hips are dragging a little bit for this big and all this is, is dragging there um but now that you're leading with the head there's still something that you can do where it's low here going up like it wants to go up but you just have to time that that head lead right when this happens it's kind of like up with the head flap it's just a bit more time together all righty that's that. Sorry, it might, put the, uh, might be a little bit of a destructive note, but um, it definitely needs some fixing because otherwise you're kind of in that um, Wish Dragon, Falcor, you know, more Chinese Dragon have no wings where they just magically move around and they can, you know, Raya type thing where they can just move um, versus a bit more physics driven, even though their structure is kind of bananas. Um, it's the wings that will prevent it from falling and brings it back up. Anyway, rambling, I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know what you think. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.